Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is server edition of our LZH Project. And today we are going to see how to configure NFS. NFS stands for Network File Sharing and it's used for sharing files in Linux systems. It operates on port TCP and UDP 2049 and 111. So NFS can also be used for network install, that is to install uh, Linux via network. Uh, with NFS we can put our data in one place and share it across the network so that we can manage our data more efficiently. So <clears throat> let's start NFS. To install NFS, Okay, uh, let me tell you one thing that I am using uh, CentOS 7. Uh, you can see from this command. And to install uh, NFS in CentOS 7, you'll use yum -y install uh, nfs utils and nfs 4 acl tools. I have already installed it so that's why it's not going to install but you can see that it's saying that package already installed. So that's how you install NFS. Okay now to verify if NFS is installed you'll use RPM query all with grep NFS and it will tell us that NFS-utils and libnfs and nfs4-acl are already installed okay now what we are going to do is we are going to enable it with system enable nfs uh, yeah actually it's nfs-server so <clears throat> and then we can also enable RPC bind. Okay. And now the main configuration file is, I'll show you it's in etc sysconfig nfs. And we are not going to touch it because it's, we don't need to change anything here until and unless I need to change the ports or something so anyway we are not going to change anything <clears throat> let's me let me clear the screen <clears throat> okay so now uh, let's check the status system CTL status NFS and it's working active RPC bind active and working okay good so let's start to create a mount point or something. So first we need to create a directory. I'm going to use uh, ET, uh, OPT. In OPT, I'm just going to create this uh, data or NFS data. Let's create MKDIR NFS dash data. <clears throat> Okay, in NFS data, I'm just going to touch a file. Uh, let's call it uh, important data.txt and let's add some content. Let me clear the screen. Okay, now what we are going to do is we need to go into ETC exports and over here we will mention the file, uh, the directory where this mount is available and it is nfs-data. Okay, tab it and then we need to mention what hosts can access this file and what are the permissions so everyone can access this file and the permission is read write and sync okay so this asterisk 
read write they have no space between them please do mention uh, please do remember this okay some other uh, options are instead of read write you can mention read only with ro then there is insecure which allows the use of ports over 1024 uh, sync uh, specifies that all changes must be written to disk uh, before a command is complete uh, completed and then there is no w write delay forces the writing of uh, changes immediately and and then there is uh, root squash or root underscore squash which prevents root users okay so after this let's write an exit and now we need to start the nfs so system ctl restart nfs and rpc bind okay good okay and now we can check the status if everything is good system ctl status nfs okay good and rpc bind good okay how we can see that the exports were successful we can use cat slash var lib nfs and etab press enter and over here you can see that it's saying slash opt slash nfs dash data is exported and however we need to run this command export fs dash avr a means all these verbose and r stands for r stands for re-export all uh, directories okay press enter okay good now we need to add ports to our firewall firewall dash cmd dash dash add dash service is equals to nfs dash dash permanent success um, rpc bind rpc let's check rpc okay so nfs is an f okay and then we need to add the ports uh, firewall dash cmd dash dash add dash ports is equals to 2049 slash tcp permanent i'm oh, sorry add port not ports Okay, then UDP, same. One 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 UDP. This is for RPC and one 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 TCP. And then for mount NFS mount, this is important port two zero four eight. 20048 and UDP also. Okay, if we now firewall dash CMD dash dash list dash all. So it will show us that all the ports have been added and we can always check with this um, system CTL status rpc bind okay ss hyphen a n t l u p grep triple one will reveal that it's used by rpc bind and 2049 it's listening and 20048 this is for mount d okay so this is done and now we will go to our command uh, client which is slackware let me go to slackware 
okay and we will try to mount it over here okay but first we need to create a directory uh, let's go to mnt and over here I have already created this NFS data and you can see it's empty at the moment there's nothing so what we need to do is first we need to uh, once you have created this directory you need to change permission for RPC to do that you'll do chmod uh, 775 etc rc.d and rc.rpc okay ls hyphen ltr will reveal that now it can be now it will work if we start it so it is, otherwise if you don't change the permission it's not going to start and give you a permission denied error etc rc.d rc.rpc and start okay so once it's done okay so now it's working okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to mount that share so let me go out of this mount hyphen t nfs 192.168.1.10 and it's an opt nfs dash data and i'm going to mount it to mnt nfs data okay perfect everything is good let's go to this directory and there we have it that important data is here and it was if you remember we made it read write so I can just go to this and I can oh it's change it's read only at the moment Actually, it should not be read only uh, let me go back to the server and check What's giving us read only? Okay. Just read right. Okay, the reason is very simple actually. If we look at the permission of this file, it only has read write access for root. So let's change it. 646 and and now let's go to our Slackware. okay now you can see that we are able to edit the file this is edit version oh, sorry about that. okay but the problem right now with this share is that if we restart this uh, client it's uh, not going to stay permanent so let me show you that but first let's check yeah at the moment it's available let me restart slackware this is our sandwas machine and we can see that that it did work okay so let's go to our client
Okay. Login as root and the password. And if I go to MNT and FS data, the data is gone. So what we need to do is we need to to make this permanent. We need to go to uh, etc fs tab and over here uh, just add these lines uh, 192.168.1.10 this is the IP address of your NFS server and opt and NFS dash data tab it um, then where you need to bound mnt slash NFS data tab uh, what is the file system it's nfs tab and read write and sync tab zero tab zero okay that's it let's mount hyphen t nfs 192.168.1.10 uh, opt nfs dash data slash mnt slash nfs data okay there we have it okay all right okay now let's restart the machine again and check if this mount will remain persistent or not Okay, so our machine is starting. Okay. And I hope it will work. It should work actually. Because we did everything right. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Perfect. So we were able to make our data persistent. The mount is permanent now. And now it doesn't matter. You start, restart your client or whatever. You will have your data available. And in like read write state. Okay. And let's check to, let's try to delete this file. And permission is denied so that's good so uh, that's how NFS works and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can always uh, leave a comment if you want to see some more videos regarding uh, servers and thank you for watching and God bless